that command has different looks to it, right? I mean, it's working behind end counts, which wasn't necessarily his problem. It was getting too much of the plate. Um, middle, middle gets hit pretty hard in this league. Um, so you know, you're talking about a couple of home runs and fastballs in the middle part, slightly up, and the changeups that drifted to the middle part of the plate and, and up as well. And uh, it's the home run that's been hurting him lately. Have you seen uh, similar, uh, we talked a lot about his delivery back in spring training. Have you seen that at all? Or do you think this is a, a different problem he's facing? No, I think it's just just the execution. Um, you know, I thought his uh, thought his stuff looked good. I thought he came out you know, right from the first hitter, establishing the third base side of the plate, um, elevating a little bit, and then trying to get right back down in the in the zone. Uh, down's going to be key for him, and um, for many young pitchers, it's a it's a hard. Um, it's a hard thing to learn to be able to elevate and then get right back down to what your strength is, which is the bottom. And when he's down, that's when his fastball is effective. That's when his changeup's effective. Um, but there are times, and there's certainly certain hitters in this league, that you can, that you can uh, maximize uh, the ability to use the top of the zone. It's just how how many pitches are going to take you to get back down on top with good good angle and playing on the ball. When Hey, Mike, um, to, to see the offense at least get a little something going early where that had been a struggle the last couple of days, was there some encouragement there just, you know, against a good pitcher to see you guys put some up there? Yeah, yeah, I think we still left some money on the table there and some opportunities to do something there in the second. It was good to see Nikki uh, put together a really good at bat and at least get one. Uh, we've talked about that a number of times, but you know we're still looking for that big hit, that one that allows us to put a little space. And, and then we need to shut down right after that too. And unfortunately, gave up a couple more after we did get one. But um, yeah, just uh, just one of those that uh, the big hit kind of eluded us. Had a couple guys come up big, but. Uh, nobody on with Santana and great swing by Benny. Um, just uh, need those big hits when we get guys in scoring position. We got multiple guys on base. And not that, um, you know, that it was a game changer, but it was at the time seemed like it was a big play in the moment. The, the play with Santana, did, was there any explanation on I mean, the replay looked like there was space there and would have obviously been two on with no outs in that spot. Yeah, I mean, no, I didn't go out and ask for explanation. I mean, they're not going to give you one except for the obvious. Um, they didn't see what we saw, I mean, from our angle. I was surprised it was taken as long as it was to get the information from our review uh, uh, replay because it, it looked obvious to me that he pulled his foot off the bag. Um, need to get a couple more angles. Sometimes we get fooled. But uh, I haven't really seen too many, except for the ones they were showing on the big board. But um, I was I was shocked uh, right there. You know, two guys on start the inning, nobody out. I like our chances of making something happen there. 